It's a game that has Miltonians flying to Walmart to grab, the shelves consistently running empty quick, and a counselor making it his duty to update residents on when it's back on the shelves again. There's a huge line behind me. Of like that was Councillor Rick DiLorenzo on December 27th, to be exact, capturing exactly what Miltonians are willing to do to get their hands on Miltonopoly. As you can see, the lineup before the store opened, and of course, it sold out quick. Miltonopoly is exclusively sold at Walmart, and DiLorenzo has taken it upon himself to keep residents informed on when it's in stock through social media. He says this all started because he was trying to get a copy himself. This game was announced like months ago. It, 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 was, it was announced uh, in a news story, but it wasn't available yet in, in Walmart. People were reading about it, and then I guess once it first came to the Walmart, people were posting in Milton Strong and other... Facebook groups um, 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 I'm wanting one, and I was just surprised how quickly it's sold out. Outset Media is the company behind Miltonopoly, a company who's produced these games for about 200 communities across Canada. Senior Vice President Jean-Paul Teske says some of their best-selling games were in smaller markets. And Miltonopoly looks like it will probably be our biggest game of the last couple of years. So Miltonopoly, when it went into store, um, it sold 200 and I think it was 80 pieces in a half hour. You ate too much tiramisu from Pascalina. It was one turn to recover. <laughs> About 670 pieces of each game are produced at one time in North America, with Outset Media having just shipped the last set of Miltonopoly. With all this hype about the game, I had to ask Teske if he expected this type of reaction. No, because you never know what's going to hit. Uh, I honestly didn't think Milton would take off quite the way it did, so we couldn't be happier. And as for Councillor DiLorenzo, well, he's going to continue to keep us updated and is encouraging Miltonians to get a copy of Miltonopoly, especially in these pandemic times. How great is it that if you went to Milton District High School, you could like buy your high school in the game and charge people rent if they land on your high school. The same thing with Ted Kilberger or has Milton Street Festival or Mill Pond or, you know, downtown Milton. So a, a, a lot of landmarks and a lot of, you know, you know, things, both old and new Miltonians, you know, would would love playing it. Especially because right now, there are very few fun things going on. You know, I have two kids and I'm struggling right now and finding out how am I going to wash them the next two weeks while I work. And, and a, a lot of, you know, families and parents are struggling on, in this new year. So I think people are looking for these happy stories. So I was lucky enough to get my copy, but don't worry if you haven't got yours yet. Councillor DiLorenzo and the company says that they will continue to make copies of Milton Opoly for as long as we want them. Okay, well, I'm going to go to Milton Go and collect my $200. For Halton News in Milton, I'm Melissa Candelaria.